Hello, I'm Sean Jones. I'm a trauma surgeon at the Trident Medical Center in South Carolina. I went to Texas A&M University uh, for undergrad. I majored in biology. So for medical school, I went to uh, University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston, Texas. After medical school, I went into active duty uh, with the military, meaning for me, active duty as an intern in surgery um, at uh, Naval Medical Center in San Diego. After internship, I trained as a flight surgeon, and uh, being a flight surgeon was, uh, uh, again, memorable, it was fun. Um, it's something I can look back fondly and also feel like I accomplished something. So I did that for uh, three years as a flight surgeon, and then um, I had an opportunity either to get out or stay in. I decided to go ahead and stay in. Um, Navy was good to me, so I, I went to a re Navy residency program in San Diego. After the residency, again, you owe some time back to the military, so um, I deployed as a general surgeon. Again, a unique experience that you don't get to uh, experience as a, a civilian, going on uh, warships as a, a surgeon on the ship. After my tour, I again signed up for an extension to continue my uh, training. It's when I decided to go ahead and do the um, fellowship and, at Vanderbilt. That fellowship uh, trains you to be able to take care of the most injured, uh, complicated injured patients and also that's a fellowship where you are trained to uh, care for ICU patients, so the most critically ill uh, patients in the hospital. But after two years of fellowship, I had to serve out more time with the Navy. So I was assigned, fortunately I was assigned back to San Diego. My time there was, um, again, unique. Um, it started off with the deployment during the uh, Iraq-Afghanistan conflicts. I was able to uh, deploy. A lot of people feel like that's uh, a dangerous or maybe something to avoid. I think it was, a, a, again, a unique opportunity. There's some devastating injuries I've seen, things that you think nobody should be able to survive, but I've seen people survive those. Key factor is to know that that person that you're resuscitating, the person that you're doing procedures on, you're trying to keep him alive because that is a fellow human being, that is somebody's father, mother, somebody's son. The best part of being a trauma surgeon is that I'm part of a great team, the team of professionals. And I realized that there are some who uh, look, would look to me as the person, the family members, or the, fa the patient themselves look to me as the person who's actually doing uh, all the work for them. But they should realize that I'm just part of a team. Without the rest of the team, I would, my efforts would fail. And the end effect, uh, with that kind of a teamwork, you can achieve anything. And we do achieve a lot of things that you, think, you would think would be impossible, resuscitating somebody who's uh, near death. Um, keeping somebody uh, alive and then getting them to, uh, to wellness. My patients, I want them to know that I'm also a person. They should know that I'm dedicated to their safety and their well-being.